welcome back to my channel. My name is Zara Duma. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and uh, check out my channel. So today I'm traveling to Beijing for two days and uh, I'm going to take you along with me to explore for two days. So I'm super super excited about this my visit to Beijing because I've been like I've I've been to the I've been there so many several times but I do I've toured many places but there are still some great places that I haven't had the chance to tour. I don't know why. I've been staying in China for so long and I have never been to Great World. So I'm going to Great World this time. For me it's my second time going to going to be one. So, but I'm yeah. yeah it's on my bucket list for 2019 I love you guys and don't forget to subscribe and yeah, like button like button yeah don't forget to like and click the subscribe button <laughs> Like I think the train was five hours ten minutes. We left around nine and arrived by two fifty. So. And now I'm so tired. I'm sleepy. Like I've been having headaches. I think I just need some more sleep. Uh, so, so. I'm just gonna freshen up and then sleep then later maybe I'll go on social media Instagram just to be posted so see you guys tomorrow good morning you all how are you so it's morning now it's around six and yeah I already woke up pray and uh, going to the great world today so we woke up early because uh we are using the tour guide and they said we are leaving around 6 40 a.m so uh, we have i think we're going to play uh to tour great wall and i'm not sure of the other place but i know it's two places we are going down to have breakfast and after breakfast then we are leaving to great wall and uh I'll keep you posted. I didn't even realize how tired I was until when I when I when I lied down and I was about to sleep. Uh, and I didn't want to wake up this morning. I just wanted to sleep more because it's too early to, for me. I usually woke up around 10, 11. That's the earliest I used to wake up when uh, when there is no school. And presently, so we are graduating in a few days and uh, yeah. There's pretty much nothing to do except to sleep, just go shopping and tours and whatever you feel like doing it. Ming Dynasty, the third emperor, drew these two, Badaling and the Ming tombs. 
Malaysia. And uh, Beijing, we totally have a three sections we will open to the public. The first one is the Badaling. So congratulations first, you choose the best section of the Great Wall. Badaling is a very huge. But today, a little more people on the wall. Yeah. So a little cloudy. Yeah. So Badaling is very nice. You choose the best section of the Great Wall. And the Ming Tomb is a belong to the Ming Dynasty, the third emperor, Zhu Di's tomb. Zhu Di. Yeah. Most of foreigners call him Judy, like girl's name, but exactly is the emperor name Judy. Ju is a family name, D is a given name, Judy. Yeah, Judy. His tomb, yeah, after he died, he buried his head. So Ming Dynasty is third emperor, Judy's tomb. The name we call the Changling, Long Tomb. Changling and Long Tomb, yeah. And uh, today, the tour, the itinerary, first we go to the Ming Tomb. And the Finnish Ming Tomb, we robbed the Jade Factory. We have a lunch there. We did a tour in the lunch. Yeah. Finnish lunch in the afternoon, we climb the wall. Uh, Finnish lunch, I think you have more energy. Yes? <laughs> yeah, climb the wall. Yeah. And uh, climb the wall. You know, our founder, Chairman Mao, he said, when you finish climb the great wall, you will to be the real heroes and the real men. So now remember, you are not the real heroes. Yeah. So later, you will to be the real heroes. Yeah. So the wall there is very high, but the lingui wall is very high. The top of the part is 888.8 meters highest level. If you want to see the beautiful view, only one way, cable car way. So today the tour not include the cable car. Today the tour include the entrance ticket, include the lunch, <coughs> but not include the cable Deep car down. tickets. Yeah. So if you want to see the beautiful view, the top is part, mm. only one way, cable car way. Yeah. Mm. Finish climb the wall, we back to central Beijing. On the way, we have a tea house or food massage. Both, we just choose one. If we have time, you can enjoy the food massage free. Yeah, if not too much time, we just go to tea house, enjoy the tea. Yeah, so this is a holiday tour. Holiday yeah. tour. Can you understand my English? Yes. You know, most of the time people will speak uh, Chinese English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you can understand my English, I'm very happy. Come here to the tomb. We first go to the tomb. Yeah, uh, close one hour. Yeah, mm -hmm. one hour. A little traffic is more than one hour. Yeah, you know, Beijing is a parking capital. A lot of foreigners, they call Beijing is a parking capital. Always traffic. Yeah, so if no traffic, it's one hour. If traffic, it's more than one hour. Yeah, so Beijing is all the city, all the capital. Yeah, I've been to Shanghai. Shanghai, Shanghai, okay. Yeah, Shanghai is very modern, yeah? Beijing looks very old, yeah. Uh, Beijing is uh, to be the city, it's modern, 3,000 years history. To be the capital, 880 years. So Beijing is the old city, old capital. Beijing is not the oldest one, not the oldest city in China. Did you hear before Xi'an? Yes, Xi'an. Yes, yes. Xi yeah, Taro Kota virus, yeah. Xi'an. The south of Beijing, central of China. Xi'an is the oldest capital in China. <clears throat> to be the capital is more than 2,000 years. Wow. Yeah. So Beijing is just a baby, yeah? Yes. To be the capital only 880 years, yeah. We totally have a five dynasties. They took the capital in Beijing, five dynasties. First one is the Liao Dynasty. After Liao is the Jin Dynasty. After Jin is the Yuan Dynasty. After Yuan is the Ming Dynasty. And the last one is the Qing Dynasty. Liao, Jin, Yuan, Ming, Qing, five dynasties. They took the capital in Beijing. Can you remember? No. Yes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Liao, Jin, Yuan, Ming, Qing. Yeah. Yeah. Liao and the Jin Dynasty. They took the capital in Beijing. At the time we call Beijing is the middle capital. In Chinese we call this the Zhongdu. Zhongdu. After the Jin Dynasty is Yuan Dynasty. Yuan, did you hear before Yuan? Chinese money? Yes, yes Yuan. Yes. Yuan, yeah, same yes, pronouns, yes. same character. Yuan Dynasty is belong to Mongolian people. You know, in China we totally have 56 nationalities. 70% we are the Hantu people, we speak Mandarin. We have a 20% Mongolian people, Muslim people, and also have a smaller nationalities. For example, Korean, Li Chu, Miao Chu, Wai Chu, Yi Chu, Mandarin, Tibet, etc. Totally, we have a 56 nationalities. Mm -hmm. So Yuan Dynasty is belong to the Mongolian people. Yeah, in the Yuan Dynasty, we have very famous heroes. They are the name is Genghis Khan and the Kublai Khan. They are very famous heroes. They took the capital in Beijing. At the time we call Beijing is the 
big capital. In Chinese, we call this a Dadu in the Yuan Dynasty. In the Yuan Dynasty, Genghis Khan, he always fighting with another country. He go to Europe to fight him. So at the time, China is really big. Yeah. The map of China is much bigger than the Russia. Yeah, now it's smaller than the Russia. In the Mongolian, after Mongolian, now it's separate. But before the Yuan Dynasty, it's all belong to China. Yeah. So this is the Yuan Dynasty. Yuan Dynasty have a lot of Chinese people, they do the very good business. Have a lot of Chinese people, they take a lot of local product by camel, by horse, pass the Great Wall, pass the Iran, pass the Indian. They go to Europe. Hey guys, so we just arrived at the Great Wall. I will tell this guy she went to guys she went to she went to get the tickets and so went to the restroom. My tripod broke. This is so bad now. So later. You know, as I told you on the bus, somewhere to go to luck, somewhere to meet the bad luck. So later you must follow me. Let me tell you which way we can walk. Um, but the today, I'm so sorry. This is a close. This carving is made of one piece of white marble. One piece. When they move in this stone, is a total is 200 tons. The weight, 200 tons. Very heavy. In all the time, is no modern transportation, no machine. Very difficult to move in this stone. Uh, this is a half a story. You know, when they move in this stone, they spend a lot of time. Totally, the three hundred people carry okay. this stone cannot carry that. Huh? Very difficult, very heavy. And the emperor a little worried because it's difficult to move in the move in this stone. So he asked the whole country, "Who can give me good idea? I give a lot of money for him." And so have a lot of people people give him a good idea, but not really good. Have one guy, he's very young, only 17 years old. 17 years old. He told the emperor, I ah, have one very good idea for moving this stone. But I don't want your money. I want your daughter marry me. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the emperor said, okay, no problem. Tell me uh, your idea. You know, he said, you know, Beijing? Summertime is very hot, 40 degrees. Mm. Wintertime is very cold, mm. zero below 20 to 26. It's a snow, yeah, mm. so it's very cold. He said, one kilometer, you dig the water well. One kilometer, one water well. One put the water on the road, make the asphalt sailing way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when I last the movie, this is so from south of China to here, yeah. A very good idea, yes. You're, so, you're the yeah, that's a, he, the one you want to know the, the, the at last, yeah. At last, he married one prince, but not if he wants. He oh. wants one lady is a princess. She is a very famous in the Ming Dynasty. She is a very smart and a very clever and a very very beautiful. But the, the emperor said. Yes, I married my daughter, but uh, no. I have a lot of daughters. <laughs> yeah, one. <laughs> yeah, so, but I love the, also have a story. I love that they allow each other and uh, love okay. forever. Yeah, so this is a story, yeah. <laughs> so this is the carving, made one piece. What well, made one piece? This is a marble material. Design, uh, design is a dragon. This dragon is not a real dragon. Dragon totally have nine children. If you go to Forbidden City, have a special dragon we call a turtle dragon, turtle uh, turtle body, dragon hat. Yeah, turtle turtle dragon is a seventh dragon, and also have one animal is a unicorn. Unicorn, yeah, have a single horn. He is also the seventh dragon, and this one is also the seventh dragon. We call it a beast. Beast. He is very powerful. He can carry away a very heavy stone. So later we go the two there. Also I have a lot of uh, animals. Uh, most of the animal is the sound the dragon. And uh, both both sides have a characters. This is two two part of character only for the dead emperor Judy. Yeah, for him. Only because he is do a lot of good job for this country. He doesn't write on something, just tell the uh, tell tell us. What does he do? What does he do for this country? So they have a both character. One part is from Ming Dynasty, one part is from Qing Dynasty. Qing Dynasty, the Emperor Qianlong, Qianlong Emperor, he just uh, 
say something. Yeah. He also have very good character. He go anywhere to write on something. Yeah. Have a, even here. Uh, you have a lot of uh, trees. You can see that's the tree, the pie tree, pie tree, pie tree in China. We call it a longevity tree, longevity tree. Of course, they have a lot of uh, old tree. If you saw the tree have a heart on the bottom, mm. that's the old tree. Far from over there, behind you. Uh, Look at there, the tree have a green color card. That means that this tree is more than 150 to the 300 years old. Look at this one. This tree have a red color card. That means that this tree is more than 350 to the 600 years old. And in, in the south of Beijing, we have a lot of yellow design. Yellow color card is more than 600 years old to the thousands. So here have a lot of older tree. Pie tree in China means longevity. To the old building, have a lot of steps like this, including my house. We also have this one, but the size is a smaller size. And the in Chinese, we call it the Mengkan. Mengkan, yes. And the Mengkan in China is a special step also, only because, you know, in China, in China most Chinese people believe ghost. You know, ghost? Yes. Like this. Always a jump, jump, jump. They want to go in, it's fall down. So this is Mengkan in China for good luck, for protect means the world of evil spirit world of evil spirit so remember later don't stand on the top okay, that means the bad luck yeah go to the temple go to the tomb don't stand on the top yeah you must think like me <laughs> that's the now i told you in china we have a special festival we call this a Look at my tooth. Look at his tooth. Yeah. <laughs> Smile. You know, this is also how it's also a big size. But this one is only in the corner, facing to the corner. Why is it facing to the corner? You know, Su is the son of the dragon. He is a full, he is a very, very kind for us, but a very scared for the evil. You know, evil and the ghost. You know, you shy. You also can touch it. Okay. I'm touching it. It's for good luck. Stay corner, stay clean. Yeah. Like the dragon says mostly for the ladies. So when you clean the house, like it scares the ghost that stays at the corner. So when you touch the head. It's like a good luck, more especially for the ladies that do the house cleaning. So yeah, we touch the dragon's heads for good luck. So and for anybody that does house house chores, you can. Look at this gate. Did you heard some people say something Chinese? Yeah. Say, "I'm back." Yeah. Later, I will teach you. Why we they say "I'm back"? I'm back. That means I can't find. Only because this gate, this gate later. Don't use this gate to go inside. This gate only for us go out. Okay. Okay. Only because in the Ming Dynasty, after the emperor died, people carry his uh, coin and uh, pass this uh, gate. And the human sacrificial ceremony, the ladies and the boys, the uh, uh, girls, just for the emperor go to the go to the tomb from this gate. Jade is very hard, only diamond can cover well. And she used the water here, just cool down the temperature. Otherwise, the machine will be broken easily. Yeah, it's a very time consuming job. Smaller pieces, maybe several days, we can make it. Big piece, maybe many, many years. Yeah, just like the one there, the big dragon boat. That one, two years making one piece of jade. Yeah, 
This is a family technique. Only the family members know how to cut it. It's a secret how to make one. Yeah, but this family, the family is here. They all work for the government now. We have different family, different skills. In the factory nearby, we have more than 300 masters there. They cut the JPs. This is the biggest they don't factory in Beijing. Yeah. Many, many colors. The first one, I'm going to show you this one. Maybe you've heard of it. Do you know agate? Mm -hmm. Agate, yeah. Also consider this type of jade, but medium quality, not the top. When we carve it, we carve it into a thin piece because it's translucent. Let's take a look at the end of the light. Mm -hmm. Pretty color, yeah. Each one, the pattern inside is different, no one the same. And listen to the sound. The crystal, yeah. Medium quality jade. In China, the best quality jade is this one. All like this one, they are the same. Mm -hmm. What I'm wearing, all the same. We call it jadeite. J-A-D-E-I-T-E, yeah. This one is the hardest jade, never break easily. And also we wear it for a long time. One or two years, the color can change to be darker and more translucent. Yeah, only this jade change color. So in the ancient times, it was for the emperor and empress. Now people give it as a family heirloom, generation to generation. Yeah, so this is very Chinese JJ dye. We have many other colors, only you can take on that. We have beautiful white, yellow, a lavender, and a green. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the one they are making the happy family ball. One piece, many layers. Yeah, mm -hmm. each layer stands for one family member. So that's for happy family. So depends how many people in your family We have different size from three to nine. This one is a four, four layers. Yeah, not the biggest one, but still take a master around 10 days to finish it. Mm. This is the process to show how they make it. Yeah, you can take a look. Well, I think you all know the dragon, right? Let me show you a very special dragon. Look at here. The little ball. Also carved by one piece of jade, yeah, including this, they carve it inside, not put it in. So that's why, if they carve the dragon mouth too big, the ball falls out. Too small, the ball cannot move, very difficult. And take a look at here, very little hole, see that? Very small. Only your hair can go through, yeah. So that means when they carve it, they have to be very carefully, otherwise they break it the whole piece is gone. So this type of dragon in the whole China, not more than 50 great masters can have it. Yeah, very difficult, very detailed, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, uh, dragon has a big family. Dragon has nine sons. This animal is one of them. His name is Pishu Money Dragon. He eats money every day, never go to the toilet. Money only in, not out, that's meaning for him. Yeah. So if you have it, how you put it? Put the mouth face to the door, let the money come. The bottom is your house. Don't do like this. <laughs> like this, your money will go come into your neighbor's house. Okay? <laughs> so that's the issue. Money dragon. Yeah. Well, so many pieces. I cannot show you one by one. Yeah. Let's come to the inside. Let me show you. <laughs> this is please. Yeah, all the suits. Oh, I found my yeah. food. In this room. So now we are at the jade factory. We saw some jade uh, as new, like Chinese people value jade more than gold. And uh, now we are going up to the restaurant to have lunch and after that we head to the wall for hike. They have a spread, hot color, beer, well, cold water.
opinion. So that's where they build the wall. So you're not careful. I thought this was a souvenir. Yeah, my graduation gift to myself. Early graduation. We had food massage and explain about traditional medicine stuff, stuff, stuff. But the, the massage was really, it was really great because I was feeling kind of sleepy. So now we are heading back to the hotel. That's it for the day. And I think I'm going to take a nap because I don't have dinner. Well, I will see you guys in my next video. So bye. Love y'all.